I'm kind of surprised how good the tires are on this car. Right off the, uh, right off pit road, they don't feel like ever feel like they're cold or don't have grip. And I'm almost positive they don't have tire warmers. Almost. Um, yeah. I'm gonna do the next race, probably take a little break, and then I'm gonna do the uh, race spot race tonight. Probably the only one I'll ever be able to do, because I usually work Thursday night, but I have tonight off, so. Should be fun. Me uh, tried the car, Roberto. Yeah, I haven't got to try this on Marsh Life yet, but I'm guessing that's a blast. What are you driving this season? <laughs> he retired. Yeah, I know. You need a. You definitely need a break every now and then. I definitely think I'll stick with this old school stuff. Stick with the good old fashioned gearboxes. Although I when I was, because I'm gonna do petite. And the C-Spec, and I was driving that a little, did a couple laps uh, yesterday and that. And that, it did feel good, driving a little more modern car. At least that's a sequential. So that's not complete paddle shifters. So, I can definitely still appreciate the new stuff, but I just, it was a lot of fun right now. I always enjoy driving the SRF because I could use an H pattern in it. I think the Mustang too and the Miata. But then it's like as soon as you got anything any faster, the H pattern just disappeared. So that's why this is cool because pretty much fast as all get out and has an H pattern because it's old school. Nah, I haven't tried Twitch lately. I might give it another try, but it just never works for me. I always drop frames on it. Fortunately. Or YouTube's always smooth as can be. I'll try it again here when I got time, but I was not I wasn't even like really planning on streaming on YouTube today and I did it accidentally. I was like, eh, might as well just do it.
a pretty good lap going here. Okay, now lap times is just do around the Norge life. Just the regular track, not combined, or do you do combined all the time? Hey, James, how you doing? One of my favorite sections of the track is getting the tires a little bit in the dirt there. At least you know this car is just not going to freak out. Thanks for hanging out. Gonna do uh, two races tonight, so I should get a little more exciting in this eventually. First race will be in about half an hour, and the second race will be in two and a half hours, and that race is gonna be on a race spot, too. Right now, I'm just running laps. Actually, what I think I'm gonna do after this lap. Mess with the springs, won't do one more lap here. Nope, or I'm just gonna slide around. Alright, make a little adjustment on the springs, just experiment. Six twenty-three. That sounds pretty quick. Pretty quick for the old old schlaffa. All right. Let's see what it feels like with stiffer springs. Go up two clicks. Bring everything back down and bring the ride heights back down.
Oh, so close, so close. So close. I'll just go up one click like that and get the right uh the right height just right there. See what this feels like. If there's any noticeable change. Ooh, 616. Yeah, this car is fun to slide around. As long as you don't get like too ridiculous a slip angle, it's you're you're gonna save it. I mean, because what are the GT3s doing nowadays? Are they like into the below sub 10s now? Sub 6.10s on large life? So I remember right out of the box they were doing like 6.13s. I just don't remember what weather that was in, but... Regardless, this car seems pretty quick. That's the kind of times it's running. gotta be so much fun on that track especially like the second half where it's all the little the tighter more technical section 606 on late afternoon and I can believe that yeah let's see what these springs feel like here good bad or, or indifferent Maybe slightly more stable under braking. Hard to say. Doesn't feel any worse on exit. If anything, maybe a little bit better. The way I got through that corner, I was pretty aggressive when I got on the power. I was waiting for it to kind of slide a little bit more, and it did. Initial impressions is I like it. This feels slightly more stable, but of course, brand new tires, so give it a couple laps. Yeah, that was way too early a downshift to first. Yeah, I definitely like these stiffer springs. The car just has better footing, it's not quite sliding around as much. More sh this feels more secure overall.
mean, that was in a little four-wheel slide there, but it wasn't nearly as bad as I think it would have been with the previous springs. I think I would have wanted to break loose a little bit more, but that kind of just kind of went with it. It's too fast on entry and kind of a bad line, but still, it changed directions nicely, and I just imagine, because springs are a little bit stiffer, so it, it wants to transfer the weight a little bit quicker right now. I feel like it's faster on the oval part, too, because maybe it's not compressing as much to the corners and maybe causing a aero problem underneath the car. I don't know. Could be completely making all that up right now. But it does seem like my relative was a lot better once I was going through uh, NASCAR 3 and 4. Because, I mean, I was gaining time on my best lap. And that was still on new tires. And typically on new tires, you're going to be just slower in that part of the track takes a couple laps before the tires are a little bit better on the really fast stuff where you have less rolling resistance so that kind of like stood out to me and I, I'm, I'm just from way back when with the old Daytona prototype I remember how sensitive that undercarriage was to you know, you wanted to make sure you're at least level with the track. You didn't want the rear end down too much because then you just almost you'd be like you had a parachute. I have a try on the second? What, what, I don't know. I don't understand what you're asking, Roberto. Like, try second gear through here? I just feel like the car doesn't turn when I keep it in second gear. Kind of use first gear to help it turn. I don't even know if that's what you're talking about, though. I'm sorry. I'm definitely going to keep these uh, springs on. That's <coughs> the way I have it geared right now. If I I try and go up a gear on any corner, it just pushes too much. Oh man, there's somebody to drive with, but he's gonna go way too fast. See if we can catch him. <laughs> that was ugly. I 
If I was gonna start trying to use second, I'd have to change the way it's geared. Do you like how you can mess around with the gears? Really get them where you like them. Alright. And take a little break, shut down the stream, and then I'll put it back up for the qualifying and race. See you guys in a little bit.